I was worried you wouldn't show up. I always do, don't I? What's mm -hmm. right in there? Not the usual. Stories? Yeah. Care to read? This is me. I'm Rodney. And that's Noah. Noah Saunders. My best friend. Otherwise known as the girl with an endless smile. At least that's how I see it. I like it. You've gotten better. Thanks. It's my brother. He just flew in. We're supposed to meet somewhere downtown. Hmm. You should meet him at that one coffee place. You know that one that smelled like some sort of cinnamon air freshener every time you walked in? Hmm. Right. How come we don't go there anymore? Um, just haven't been feeling it, I guess. We should go sometime. You want to come over to dinner tonight? Mom's going all out for Todd. Um, you know, I can't. Sorry. All right, do it some other time. Bye. Bye, Rafi. I met with Todd that day at the place Noah had suggested. I hadn't seen my brother ever since he left for college, and it was nice to finally get a chance to catch up and see if his college life was treating him well. It wasn't. Apparently Todd's girlfriend had broken up with him days ago, and he was having trouble finding a job. That was just a few of his problems, among other things. You sure he'll be alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't know about my hell life. What's going on with you? Nothing really much. Still writing stories? Yeah. Keep it up. You're good at it. Thanks. I will think so too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Invited her over to dinner. What'd she say? She couldn't make it. It's too bad. I would have loved to see her again. It's been a while. I'm sure she would have liked to see you, too. Tell her I said hi next time. So, how's school doing for you? It's decent. Just, just try not to write too much. Senior's a pretty big one. Wouldn't want you falling asleep in class anymore. I don't stay up all night writing all the time. But you're not going to fall asleep in class anymore. I promise. Don't worry. Jake and Sarah. Sarah and Peter. Andrew and Michael. Helen and Matt. Randy and Carmen, Marcos and Jennifer, Kyle and Rachel, Rodney and Jane. These are the partner pairings I have chosen. The project is due next Thursday. I forgot this. Oh, thanks. I didn't even realize. No problem. Um, I think you're my partner for six period English. This is Mosier. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're the kid that writes a lot in class when he's not sleeping. Yeah, that's me. Rodney, right? Yep. Well, I write a little bit myself. Really? Yeah. I'm a poet, but same difference. <laughs> well, I kind of have to go, oh, so... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Maybe we can start the project day after tomorrow? That sounds fine. Okay. See ya. If I'm not sleeping. You're not me. Not a day went by that I didn't meet Noah in the park. It was the highlight of my day. Not only was Noah's smile endless, it was contagious.
That tree stump became our stump, and that was where we met every day. Every weekday, every Saturday and Sunday, every day, even holidays. Our gifts to each other weren't the greatest or the most extravagant, but they meant something. Even if it meant giving each other's possessions due to lack of money, it still meant something. Although, there were some days when I didn't see her. Days which were long and tedious. Noah got sick for a while. Very sick. Too sick for me to visit. So instead, I continued returning to the one place I knew she'd come to someday. I spent a majority of the time writing since it's what I love to do. Waiting alone in the park wasn't all that thrilling. The more days that went by, the more hope that went with them. Although the wait luckily didn't last too long. Before I knew it, I was smiling again. And from then on, I had no reason not to smile. I mean, she did come back. Didn't she? Hey, I'm heading to the park again. You all right? No, I'm, I'm fine. Don't uh, worry about me. Still stressing? A little, but... Hey, don't worry about it. I'm cool. Have fun at the park. Will do. Rod? Yeah? Tell Noah I said hi. Will do. Tilly's taking the breakup pretty hard. He tries not to show it, but kind of just see it. Maybe he just needs some time. You know, time to think things over. That's all he's been doing. He's accomplished nothing but isolating himself. Even when he gets out of his room, he tries to be social. It's just like he's not even there. You ever feel like your life's missing something? I thought it was taught at first, but now that he's back, it feels like nothing's changed. Why are you so quiet? Nothing wrong? Can I ask you a question? All right. What if I was in here? Why would you say something like that? Rodney, you know, I don't want things to change, and I know that's the last thing you want. But sometimes, you just can't control change. Sometimes you just have to accept it. I, was. I, I just don't want you to get hurt. You're my best friend, and... Just know that I'm always here know that I'm never gone. And even when it seems like your brother isn't here, you should be. For him. I have to go. Oh, and uh, Todd says hi. I know. Hi, Rodney. That was the first time I hadn't seen Noah smile. It was like she was feeling all the same things I was, 
Just bad feelings. Almost knowing something was going to happen. Todd took his own life that day, and never realized how bad it actually was. Todd was going through rough times. I knew that much. I just... I just didn't expect it to come out to this. No one did. I realize now that he only came back to say goodbye. Noah! 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 I waited day after day for her to come back. She never did. Ah! Saunders! Hi, Rodney. Why are you here? Are you here to see my mother? Actually, it's about Noah. What is it? This is where Noah would put all the things that made her day. She called it her happy jar. She would put the silliest little messages in there. Surprising as it may be, those things made her happy. If I may ask, why are you giving this to me? Something told me she would have wanted you to have it. And this is the story of a girl named Noah. Otherwise known as the girl with an endless smile. Not only was her smile endless, it was contagious. That girl named Noah had a friend named Rodney. 
he wasn't a very happy one. He was very much unlike her, in fact. Rodney was the boy with the broken smile. Although, he soon came to realize that Noah was one of the very few people who could fix it, even if only for a moment. One day, Rodney lost one of the few great things in his life. Normally, Noah was there when the great things left Rodney, but this time, Noah knew what was best. Rodney couldn't keep hanging on. He didn't have the strength to. He couldn't accept whatever change that was bound to happen. At least, not on his own. Time just stops. I'm gonna walk below me and I'm on time. Noah was Rodney's strength. He knew this. He knew that to move on, he would need to find a new strength. With new strengths, Rodney soon became much like Noah. Happy, for he smiled. He smiled because he knew Noah was still as happy as ever, wherever she was now. And so, on the first day of the rest of his life, he smiled and said, I'm happy. Because I know that even after I've left, I'll never be gone.